Manufacturing is changing rapidly as new technology emerges, but what exactly does this mean for the people and society as a whole? This is what we will be discussing in today's edition of Inside AB. I'm Shruti Nair and this is Bandha Boosman. <laughs> All right, so Ban, this week you did an interview with Badr al Ulama, the head of Mudabla. So, what exactly did you learn from this interview? Well, it's interesting. So, besides being the head of Mubadala Aerospace, he's also the head of the organizing committee of something called the Global Manufacturing and Industrialization Summit, okay. uh, GMES, which every two years they bring together different people in manufacturing and government for a conference. The last one was in Abu Dhabi. Next year, they're having one in Russia. Mm -hmm. um, but besides that, before he was director of Mubadala Aerospace. He was also the CEO of Strata, which is Mubadala's aerospace company. And he played an, an advisory role in the development of the Alain Aerospace Park and is a mem board member of the UAE Space Agency. So at least in terms of the UAE, he's kind of the, the man to go to about uh, manufacturing. All right, so uh, Bernie, we've had the discussion about technology replacing human beings and, and AI replacing workforce, etc. But what exactly did he have to say about new technologies and what it means for the workers of the future? Well, like you said, there's always concerns whether, for example, with robotics or artificial intelligence, whether that means that certain manufacturing jobs are just going to be eliminated completely. Uh, but he doesn't feel that way at all, actually. He, I mean, he pointed to a bunch of studies that have said that the introduction of AI and robotics will actually create more jobs than it replaces, but, and only if, uh, if we prepare workers for that future. I mean, he says there might be a skills gap, because of course these workers are gonna have to be more adept at digitization and, and technology in general. Uh, but if that can be addressed, he thinks it's actually gonna end up creating jobs in the long term. Right, so I was actually going through your piece and one of the things I read was uh, he did mention that technology can also help solve some of the bigger, larger problems of the world, including poverty, hunger, etc. So can you tell us a little more about that and how he means all yeah. of that? So one of uh, GMIS's goals is that they, they want to help the United Nations complete its sustainable development goals. There's 17 different goals, uh, for example, uh, eliminating poverty, eliminating hunger, uh, and increasing digitization in the workforce, different, lots of different goals. But to do that, what they've done is create something called the Global, Global Maker Challenge, which is an online open platform for anyone who has an idea uh, to kind of help address these issues. So I asked them, you know, for example, wh mm -hmm. what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, so he took to you know, rural communities around the world, which are often A, very poor, and B, kind of separate from the mainstream of society. Uh, so, you know, they've already gotten different ideas about how rural farmers, for example, in Africa or in South Asia can, you know, increase yields and be a little more sustainable in their practices, how they can connect better with the other people in the value chain, for example, people that are buying a certain agricultural product. Okay. Uh, and so, I mean, in, in the long term, he thinks, you know, we'll be able to produce more food more sustainably reduce losses and facilitate market access in, farmer, in favor of the farmers, which who, you know, as, a, as an aside, could also be you know, vulnerable members of society, for example, women in certain countries, right. uh, will be more plugged into the country's economy. Oh, wow. Looks like technology is going to be used for the greater good eventually if there are companies like uh, Mubadala doing what they're doing. But thank you, uh, Burnt, for those insights again. And thank you for watching Inside AB. We will be back again tomorrow. So don't forget to like, follow, share and subscribe.